Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today I'll show you this type of polygon or like hexagon logo design tutorial. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. I am using here Adobe Illustrator 2022 and at first going to the file and taking new options. From here taking an artboard which is 2000 pixel, 2000 pixel, providing the name over here hexagon logo and all the setup is like that you can keep the rgb for the web purpose and you can make the cmyk for the print purpose and totally up to you which one do you prefer i am just uh, keeping here rgb um, because of i am publishing this uh, web and hit the create button after that you will get blank artboard and going to the line segment tool press the shift and hold it draw a line like this and make the stroke thickness 2pt and then press the alter option button and hold it and press the shift at a time and make one copy and press ctrl or command d 2 3 4 5 so five lines will take and select all the stops making it group and taking the alignment from the artboard into the middle okay select this one ctrl c and ctrl f ctrl c for the copy and ctrl f for the forward paste and you can rotate this one or 180 degree okay that's good and we'll do one thing over here double click the lines you will separate the line like that and make this one into the just make this one into the left side by pressing shift and hold it one step and this one into right side one step press the shift don't forget to press the shift and select this line and make this one one step down by pressing shift and hold it and this one one step up by pressing shift and hold it okay that's good and after that select all the groups and press the shift and hold it and make this one rotation like that now going to the polygonal tool and after that press once you will get a small pop up and make this six for the hexagon and hit okay okay make this one rotation by pressing shift and hold it that's good and make this bigger and the thickness of the stroke it should be 2 just because of we got the line in the 2pt and match the line according to these edges and these edges now going to the direct selection tool from here or you can press the a from the keyboard and make this one a little bit round like so when you are making round you have to match this line into the edge the downside also okay that's good now time to join the shapes select all the stops go into the shape builders tools here is the shape builders tools and then taking a color by black or whatever you do like and join the shape like that okay so follow carefully how i am joining those okay this is the important part of this tutorial that's good okay our join is done the shape joining done those are the separate shapes and now we want to delete the lines one at a time so here is a quick selection tool or magic one tool select once in a line all the line will select and delete all the stops select the polygon and turn off the stroke from here make this one a little bit bigger okay now time to make this one shape or reshape like that so here we'll make it round actually so select all the stops ctrl c and ctrl f and select here this one this one this one and this one press a from the keyboard press the shift and hold it this edge this edge this one and this one make this one round like that that's fine and select all the stops shift m for the shape builders tool and now i'll join the round over there this this round this this round okay that's fine and select once it will help you out to make the square on the middle and now the middle ctrl c and ctrl f ctrl c for the copy and ctrl f for the forward paste a from the keyboard and now make this one round like that now take care those round which we made earlier in this time so select shift m for the shape builders tool here is the shape builders tool you can take from here and join the round with that shape which one we made it 
okay that's good press the alter option button and this middle circle you can delete okay that's fine we have that shape that's fine now i'll import the gradient from here i downloaded this gradient from freepeak.com and i'll provide you that link in my video description so taking this gradient which gradient is perfect for your choice or your preferences you can select select all the stops press i from the keyboard that is the color picker you can take color from here this one okay that's good i think that is the nicest one or you can change it out from the gradient settings i'm making it reverse just because of it will uh, make sense or you can uh, just uh, match with the all stops all other stops so this or this that's good or you can make this one uh, into like g from the keyboard and you can manually set up the gradient uh, if you want so it's totally up to you taking ellipse and press shift and hold it making bigger size and from here going to the this second point and making this one to black and the other point i will make a little bit back black okay now uh, making it center and making this one a little bit like this that's good and now without pressing the shift making this one stretch and place it into the downside of the polygon and make the opposite down 30 or 27 percent or you can increase as your preferences okay making this group and making this one into middle of the shadow and now i'll make bigger by pressing shift and option and making it bigger now you can write down anything over there so taking this text and logo design and selecting this one into this portion so this one is group and you have to make sure that that is the properly middle okay that's fine or you can just put it over here it will make sense our logo is ready so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and uh, what you have learned from here please do comment on my video comment section until the next video stay safe stay at home i'm asmr signing out bye bye